go. Yeah, checked. I checked if there is a difficulty Tinker trophy. Tinker World, a place yeah, where wasn't. everything can be built from uh, basic gorgeous. materials, as long as the idea behind there it is, is strong enough. From ancient forests um, to bustling cities, from the tallest mountain to the deepest ocean, all is crafted with nothing more than color, paper, and glue. Even small pets. Oh, giant ones! Paint is produced in the City of Colors and brings life to the inhabitants of Tinkerwell. Everybody has a favorite shade, which makes them individual. But now, the city is in danger. Fortitude has turned to sadness, curiosity to fear, and strength to anger. People have divided the city into districts, even starting to hate other colors. Only in the outer district, where all colors are accepted, are people still normal. But among them lives a boy with very special talents. Soon, he will start a chain of events that will destroy the city. But I do think that's whatever. Um, okay. Uh. Oh, that's how I sprint. Uh, how do I interact? But yeah, I should stop doing that. <laughs> like listening to fanboys on Twitter and everywhere. Because it's like, it's like I don't have a problem at all with uh, people like Game Pass. I really don't. It's just the p uh, the fanboys of Game Pass I do, saying like it's like it's the best thing since the Second Coming Christ. Basically, it's like. Okay, it's good, it's just not that good. So I don't know. Down to oh, so yeah, 
Minky's obviously a happy game pass and you know how good it is obviously. It's just that um the freaking game pass doesn't have the games I particularly like. And of course I'm gonna like try basically all the games on Game Pass, sure. But it's like uh, the games that are that have been offered just aren't good. Like, uh, I'll do after this. I don't know what he's uh, saying, just gibberish, I guess. Yeah, just gibberish, whatever. Oh. Oh god damn. Oh god, you gotta be super quick. Oh, and um... There you go. You will be really patient too. Which I'm just not. Yeah, it's like this game. This game's not very good. Sure, I tried out. I downloaded freaking uh, beat it. See everybody, uh, well, seems like everybody believes that, huh? that Halo Infinite is coming out this year with, even without a release date. It's like, okay, whatever. Uh, then Phil Spencer said, oh, we nailed it down to a couple of weeks. Um, not months, but they still didn't announce a release date, and it's like, you still believe this guy, okay. Uh, but then he also said like, oh, it's because, uh, 
Look, oh, we don't want to be around. Freaking other games, blah blah blah. A lot of PR bullshit, to be honest. Yeah, it was just so stupid. It's like I just really don't understand. But it's, of course, your uh, someone's going to say like, oh, if it was PlayStation, would say the other like. Would I though? <laughs> no, I don't think I would. <laughs> because, uh. Well, maybe it's because freaking I don't really care about the rise, and it's like. That's another game from. Well, from Sony that, like. We saw freaking gameplay and no release date. Uh, do I think it'll come out this year? No, do I hope it? I don't care if it does, if it doesn't. Because the first Horizon wasn't that good. So why would I get the second game? It's like, uh, Last of Us 2. It's like, it makes no sense to me why I get the second game when they didn't like the first one. Oh, you're really... But, um... Uh, I watched a YouTube video about that. Of course, it was it from a fanboy channel. But, um, like, Microsoft doesn't want to put a uh, freaking Halo, uh, like, in the middle of things. Like, um, what is it? Like, Call of Duty. And it's like, I didn't even know there was a Call of Duty this year. They, and apparently there's rumors that it will be. But I don't think so. Because it's like, why I don't think there will be a Call of Duty this year. Um, is because like, there's no gameplay on it. There's no nothing, there's no screenshots. Uh, they weren't even at E3, so if something was coming out, you would think they would do an E3 thing. But they didn't do that. So are you really that paranoid that freaking it will come out this year? But at the same time, I kind of just thought of this. I don't think Microsoft is really worried about Call of Duty. I think they're more worried about Sony with Horizon, Forsaken, and all those other games. I know P uh, Xbox fanboys don't want to hear it, but yeah, I think it's freaking true. Because, um, they were confident enough to but, uh, what's the game? Oh, I didn't know I had to go with it. I wasn't even paying attention at all. But, uh, they were confident enough to put, to announce. Oh, I do have to this because he's freaking shouting for some reason. You know, 
they were confident enough to announce a release date for Forza Horizon 5. So it's like, I really don't know. So nothing. I don't want to say like 100% uh, that will happen uh, to Halo, but who knows? And it's like, I don't know why Phil Spencer does that. I don't know, he should shut the hell up. Sorry, but he really should. Because once, um, of course it's going to be hype on Halo, but you put even more hype on Halo when you like, like always oh, coming out this fucking year, blah, 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 and all that. It's like, okay, and let's say, just let's say if it doesn't come out this year. You're gonna get a huge amount of backlash. Uh, obviously, no matter what you will, but I would think you'll get uh, at least a little bit less backlash if you didn't say anything. And. I just saw so nice understand. Like, stop putting expectations on things. Really stop. Because you ruined, more or less, ruined 2018, uh, E3, 2018, 2019, and 2020. And then this year, I'm pretty sure you didn't say anything. And that was smart, you let the games do the talking. You said shit, and that's what you should do. You should be quiet, don't say anything, and just show the games. It's like, that's what uh, Sony's doing, and freaking... Arguably, that's uh, what people prefer because sure, it gets the more excited because people are speculating to themselves, blah blah blah. the game passing, that was stupid. Because people are asking for like, different games and like, no that's not gonna happen. At least I don't see it. Like I'm not saying it could never happen, but yeah, I don't think so. But, uh, they had, the uh, Yakuza series, which was Japanese, so... That's, um, one thing I was thinking of. But, no. Uh, the Yakuza games had English, I mean, Japanese voices. I was thinking about uh, Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise because someone was asking for that game of course and it's like yeah for some reason I was thinking that like oh since it has Japanese only it's like 
that's a less likely, but yeah, Yakuza freaking was that. Oh, I came to Xbox. And yeah, I think the same guy said that. Like, um, oh, it's unprofessional and disrespectful not uh, making it for all platforms, and it's like, I don't know, are you stupid? Sorry, <laughs> but holy cow, you must be stupid. Uh, there's a reason why they don't do that. Are you really that dumb? <laughs> Obviously they don't put, um... Uh, games that are more popular in Japan on Xbox for a reason, and it's not because... I don't know, they just whatever. It's just, uh... Obviously, if uh, the developer thinks they're going to lose money, they're not going to freaking do it. Simple as that. Like, developers did that for the Wii U, and where were you when that happened? Where uh, developers didn't put stuff on the Wii U. Oh, wait, I don't think you really care. So, I just don't get this, it's like, uh, obviously it's human nature though, but it's like, yeah, you speak up about things you care about, but things you don't care about, you're like, whatever. And I don't know, that's really stupid, um, in my eyes. Now I see it. Oh, I see that. Because I used to be like that too. But, uh, Days Gone 2 really made me see differently, to be honest. Because even though I don't care for a sequel, I know people do. And that's all I really care about. It's like, just because I don't care about it, it's like, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Or something. And it's like that, um, I think that was also him that he wanted, uh, trails from zero for, uh, Xbox, and it's like, no, it's like, uh, <laughs> Yeah, freaking Xbox doesn't do good in Japan, even though they say it's, um, doing, like, better. It's like, they didn't give us numbers, which I understand, they usually don't, uh, do numbers. They usually do more analytics stuff, like, oh, people play this much, and so on. And it's like, they didn't even do that. 
so like I don't think they're doing that good at all in Japan they just want obviously good press Because they know, um, freaking people care about that. Yeah, they know that people care about that. Like how well the freaking system's doing in Japan and whatnot, so obviously they're gonna say, oh no, it's good, even though it freaking isn't. Uh, group combo here. Whenever the same one twice in a row. I don't get Oh I have to do a five combo I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like I'm doing it, I don't get what he wants. But oh well. I'll try it one more time, seriously.
Yeah, I guess he wants this. There, I didn't hit this. I don't know what he wants. Oh, does he want me to? Oh, uh, hit these as well. Like, I don't get it because there's only three targets there. If I can hit any of them twice, then what the hell? I bet, like, hit these. Uh, I think then go over there and hit these. I don't know what you want because I can hit them them twice. So I don't get that. I wasn't supposed to hit um, um I wasn't supposed to hit any of the targets twice. So it's like what? Uh what it should have said was don't hit any of the targets twice in a row. Like you could hit the target twice but not twice in a row, obviously, and obviously, uh, the game didn't say that, so, I didn't know what it wanted. Fighting section, should I? Use both. Um, that and R1. Okay, that's it just once. I had to do that. Okay. Never mind, I thought I had to do it multiple times. 
Um. Yeah, that was my bad. Japan is because um, I think the same guy wanted uh, freaking uh, Tales from Zero to come to uh, Xbox and like yeah, Nicole obviously Falcom is uh, more popular in Japan. But, um, obviously, uh, freaking Xbox isn't popular in Japan, so it's like, why would that, why would they do that? That's actually dumb. But it just seems that the uh, Xbox fanboys are really that smart. Like the only reason freaking um uh Yakuza came to Xbox is because obviously uh Sega was losing money. Uh, because of the arcade business, uh, because obviously the pandemic, uh, so freaking, uh, Sega was forced, more or less, to sell their arcade business. It sucks, but it's true. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, they projected that uh, they will lose freaking, I think, two million uh, for the financial quarter, even with um, selling their arcade business. So uh, they were like, oh no. Uh, what do we do? Oh, look, there's freaking Microsoft that wants uh, to give us money to put our uh, to put Yakuza on the Xbox. Um, yeah, that's a little stupid. Why won't we do that? Of course they would. So that's the reason freaking more or less that's the reason Yakuza came to Xbox. And obviously um Sega wants to do the same with Atlas. But I think that's funny, freaking um they said they weren't gonna like force like Sega, I mean Atlas, to do anything, but now they kind of are. Sure, it's more passive aggressive, but still, it's like seriously. <laughs> But yeah, it's like, do your homework a little before you just say stuff. At least that's what I think. Huh? 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 
and yeah, them doing Falcom, I don't think so. Just because they're not really a pop, they're not a popular JRPG, so it's like. So the likelihood of them freaking getting that game on Xbox is really unlikely. Uh, then Yakuza is. And that's what I said before, it's like, obviously, um, Xbox will get a popular year, please no duh. But the least popular ones, not really. But obviously they could uh, uh prove me wrong and I uh w I would mind getting proven wrong. I kinda do wanna get proven wrong. <laughs> But I think their range for um, Japanese games right now at least are popular on AAA JRPGs and then um, like indie JRPGs. I think that's a range like popular and indies. There's no in between as of right now. And I think there might be an in-between at, um, yeah, there might be an in-between, but it's going to be, like, probably 2023, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, if they do fucking continue to see growth in Japan, which I kind of do because because with X Cloud, because Japan is more like handhelds than that, and that's what a uh, game pass is obviously. You can also hold I want to make But I will say, like, yes, um, I do believe that's unperfect. I mean, disrespectful to, like, not uh, include all the platforms. But do I think it's unprofessional? Kind of. But not really. Just because, um, 
obviously if they're if you do it just because obviously then it's unprofessional but if you do it for a reason and obviously that reason would be that uh freaking xbox is not as popular in the in japan than the u.s so it's like yeah that's a no dumb obviously but I guess, like I said, Xbox fans are just a little dumb, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, but yeah, anyways, I'll do this thing then stop. Just because, like, it is good, actually, but do I think I want to play it? A huge amount longer? No. Freaking that freaking smile or whatever, it's creepy. Oh shoot, I have a bring back here, don't I? I didn't think I did. I did. Oh no! Oh, there goes the bridge, fat ass. Um... Yeah, how do you save in this game? I hope it just saves. Yeah, I quit and I hope it just saves. I don't know why I do that, just something kind of... And I don't know if I'll get flack for that or not, probably. But, um, yeah, that's why I don't really like uh, female YouTubers in that. Uh, it's not like they're not good. Or anything like that. It's just... I don't know. I think there's too much of a, a kind of barrier. Not barrier, but interest. It's like... Obviously, when you're a girl, you're gonna more like makeup, fashion, and all that. It's like... Um... But... I'm a guy, why the hell would it like that? And obviously, uh... Uh, me, I... I'm not saying that girls can't like games and anime and other stuff like that. But it's like... There's kind of a disconnect there with um, what types of games you like. Because sure, there may be like some similarities. Because obviously I like basically all games. I'm not going to say every game, but basically all games. So there's obviously going to be similarities, but there's going to be... Some games where like, it's like, no. Sorry, but no. But I don't know where it was going with that. Whoa, 
it was because I, uh, I just randomly clicked on a YouTube video that she was uh, reacting to Dave Chappelle and it was like, yeah, no, this is actually horrible. I don't know what her name was, I wouldn't even say anyways, but damn, that was bad. But anyways, I'll stop blabbering and actually stop the recording. <laughs>